guys, if you want thin eyebrows, this is my warning to you. First of all, good morning. Focus, I don't, you can definitely see. Oh my God, you can see so much of my face detail, but look how many eyebrow hairs grew in the past day, two days. So let me pluck them and get back to you. I look like a ghost, like my fucking bad. Um, you know who I've been watching recently? My fam on YouTube. Girl is inspiring me because tell me how she 21 living in a fucking okay when I okay guys these things like <sighs> Ooh, yeah, it's just me out. Um anyways tell me why she's 21 and lives in like a gigantic penthouse in New York. It's huge. It's fucking huge guys like she just like makes YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure she was one of like the older YouTube video makers. Like I'm pretty sure she was like really trendy like probably like in a couple years ago but she's still fucking at it and I'm like I'm trying to get like you mama like the fuck cuz I'm trying to be on my YouTube grind like I kind of love making YouTube videos <laughs> am I being converted it's also like kind of better being a youtuber than a tiktoker I won't lie than, a, than an IG model as well like chill out they're just like so uneven like they just oh my god I can't I think I need to cut them shorter and make them thicker I do love them though like I'm, I actually am obsessed <laughs> my hair is also so fucking dirty so just like ignore that okay <laughs> okay we're at the showroom right now so gorgeous let me try on this I love when people like put um the runway on that tag right it makes me so happy. Oh, that's so I cute. Love these so hats. I know you love them. Yeah, that, that also hat. looks sick with your outfit. Um, oh my god, necklace is insane. Whoa, that is sick. Oh, this is good. Well, that it has like an interesting story. It's um, Gautier, okay. and it was made like as a sample when they were making jewelry for a collection. So they never like reproduced it or made it, oh. but it was just made during that. Yeah, box. that's. These are I wonder so sexy. Yeah, I was looking at them. Yeah, how yeah, cool. What size are you? Um, eight? Yeah, those will probably fit. They're 39 and they're oh, a little big. Yeah. So how long have you like, been collecting all of these little things? For like, I want to say like almost two years. Okay. They're like a year and a half. But two years I would say like collecting stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. And then maybe like a year and a half ago I realized I could really start to like, I was mm -hmm. doing flea markets and stuff and I was oh, like, okay. oh. People are really like coming and buying the stuff, and I was like, wow. So I just kind of started like collecting more and more. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because like the vintage sizing is really weird, so a lot so of the funky. stuff like won't fit me. But I'll know, you know, maybe it's worth more than what someone is selling it for. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just like a whatever. No, it's like a little game. Yeah, yeah exactly. Awesome. <gasps> you're yeah. kidding really me! Well. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! I love this. So that would look really good. I love Miss Vibe. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to Paris in June. Very fun. And I did a little bit of vintage shopping last time. I found this like crazy giant skirt that I like still love so oh, much. Yeah. <laughs> but I do need to like check out a little bit more spots. Yeah. Yeah, I love Dolce. <laughs> the old Dolce is really fun. I never asked. Tanzarella. Like, yeah, this is literally exactly what I want to do in my apartment. Just have, like, a lot yeah. of extra, like, a closet room. Like, yeah. It's definitely worth it. Like, it's just so nice. I also don't have any, like, clothes in my bedroom, which is really nice. Like, I used to yes. just have, like, my whole bedroom was literally closed. Uh, so. Oh, cute. Hey, guys, we're back with more YouTube. What's up, y'all? Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, this is gorge. Sick. Okay, guys, we're gonna be here. Oh. Fun. I'm actually going to. Um, wait, are you going home after this? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Where are you going? I'm going to Desert Star, so we are on the same path. Oh, yeah. I need to. I need to go pack up some more. She. Yeah. Crazy how much better this like looks. Some stuff looks on the runway. Like, this looks so good on her. I'm like, I could never look at that. Is so cunty. Oh wow. Oh my god. Like, that is some hot girl shit. Is that oh Poochie? Oh my god. 
Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. Oh, it is Pucci. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, um, Amy Winehouse. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. You think this would be too big? Maybe a bit. Maybe try. Uh, I need a shoe rack so bad because look at like how fucked up my shoes are from just being in a pile on the floor. Look how cunty this house is, though. No, it's so cunt. So you. You can also use the mirrors out here. Thank you. Let's see, what do we want to try on first? Oh, yeah. It's okay. Should I, should I try this maybe together? It's giving like the same vibe for cheetah skirt. And like, yeah, let's just try on. I'll show you what I've done. Oh, fuck, guys, it's a little big. Oh, but it's so cute. Oh, my God, this is so pretty. It's so cute. And the skirt is gooch, but what is this again? That's Dolce. Dolce? 550. 28. Eight. For 2008. 28. <laughs> At the Brit Awards. Worn by the Amy Winehouse. So cute, but it's oh, a so big. big. So it is. Okay, you guys. So, we have these little bloomers that go on. Yeah, 975. 975. It just like makes your legs look so yeah. long. It's cool. It's like boring, but we wear it separate. Yeah. But it's summer. And it's like bougie peaches. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it with the bangs. Looks great with the bangs. <laughs> Can I actually try it with this one? Yeah, I think it looks so cool. Guys, these shoes. Wait, it's so dark. I'm like doing. I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. These are much easier to walk in. I just like yeah, that's a big girl. Yeah. I it's a little more secure. I get it. The skirt is everything. Skirt's 14. I like it open. How gorgeous is this freaking skirt? The material is just like so nice and mm -hmm. thick. thick. I'm like, I want to use all of them. It's so short. I know, so many. But I love it. Yeah, but it fits this way. Right. It's literally the perfect set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well that one has like boning in it at the top, which is really nice. Hey. It's gorge. I wish I had like more fancy things to go to. Is that um fanciful? Yes. Mm -hmm. I literally had this thing for me for my birthday, the um the new collection. I Is it not what, like... How'd you like your experience? I loved it. I'm really if you guys are ever in New York, you have to come here. Allison's vintage, the most stunning collection. Honestly. Honestly, like, some of the rarest shit I've seen. This is crazy. As fuck. But we're gonna ponder on our decisions because we know I spent too much money last week. Wait, so we need to get... Guys, I'm gonna tell you. We're getting the egg and cheese scallion pancake. And then we're getting this one. I don't know how to say it. But it's like veggies. Or actually, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The veggie pancake. And then we're also gonna get the um, rice ball. I love rice balls. Wait, what? Like the rice ball big Like a mojo or something. Wait, let me look up a picture. I'm out of the by little munchkins. It smells so good. This is the bacon, egg, and cheese. This is veggie rice noodle zhuzh. Pork roll, some custard thing, the special sauce. Mm. So good. So 
showroom Janelle what? it's hectic in here <laughs> look at her crazy hat I know I no, saw I fucking crazy the glass yeah, one is you did the glass one the, the feather one of the feather heads we could kind of like dress it down like do you yeah have, that's like, so a... cute I'm obsessed with this shit I just like your mind is crazy yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it oh my god <laughs> did you make it yeah oh my god oh my god, oh my god. So good good on you too. I can't do you want to get a shot Bring me together. Should I put the tights on? First? Yeah. yeah. You guys, look at this outfit. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, fuck off. This is so cute. <laughs> so cute. It's so fun too. Oh, shit. Oh, so hot. Oh, that fits really well. I'm like, I, I wonder if this uh, Wait, could you <gasps> shit? Could you shit? Dude, could you whoa. shit? What the fuck? Oh, wait, what oh the my fuck? God. Holy shit. Stop, I love no, it. No, I was like, who cares? I have to buy everything. Oh my god, I love him. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so Oh, crazy. and they gave a little gift. Who wants the gift? <laughs> who wants the gift? Oh, wow. I literally so like stunning. shit I bricks die. when I saw this shit. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what is Look this? Look at oh, the so tag cool. even. Yeah, wait, what does it say? Look at this. I don't know. Oh my god, that's the, crazy. The I want everything this person is handmade. Things. These are like $600 online. Oh my god. But I got a deal. Oh. Ooh, I love that. Yay. We're unbagging all of this new stuff. Oh. Another one of these little tops. This is a dense favorite. Yeah, I just love it. Love. When I like get into my pop star era, you'll be seeing this on stage. This Wait, water. this is like the vagina bleeding dress, but in all black. What? <laughs> you know the one with the red? Mm -hmm. I was saying that it's like a vagina bleeding from your boobs to like it's all the true. way down. Yeah. But, like, in the but best this way. one's a the little bit less labia. Flappy, <laughs> flappy, <laughs> flappy like, 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 like bleeding. I do yeah. love this. Very good. Oh, there's like a this too. Oh, there's so much shit. Wait, hold on. Let's get the, the sisters. Yeah. <laughs> we have our sisters here. So cute. So in variety, guys. Oh my god, it's, like, just, it's like a dress version of the skirt. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> adorable. So cute. Leather collar. Oh my god. <laughs> Where? Oh, here's another one of these. So fucking adorable. Look at this little top for a little fairy princess. That matching skirt. Oh, that's new. Okay, this adorable top with like little chain thingies. Look at that's this. So cute. Look at this. Suede collar. Oh, I have that. And okay. Oh, I was literally... Okay. Oh yeah, um, the artist girl was saying that you need to make it into a, a mini like um, belt skirt. Cause the other one like kind of bothers my eye cause it's like cream and so then white. white white and then that just like... It's a matching skirt I think somewhere. That's so cute. Oh my god, that's a... Wait, and it's tiny. I need to try that one. It has like a... Meg. This is adorable. So slip. Oh my god. Baby, but it's so cute. I just love that all these pieces Sana. have the most beautiful buttons. Like I'm obsessed with these buttons. I know, right? I'm sad that they don't make them like this anymore. It's just such a gorgeous detail. This one's insane. <gasps> oh wow. Hand painted silk tool. Okay. See y'all later. Guys, <laughs> so look at this freaking outfit right now. And these, this skirt that's actually pants. And this shirt. A lot of these dudes. So beautiful. Thank you. For my little pickup. What the f- 
fuck is up, biatch? My cat is actually the most wild little chicken nugget. He needs to be stopped. He literally acts like I starve him every day when I open the fridge. He's like, <laughs> like, can you chill? I literally fed you this morning. Um. Anyways, I got my glasses. The sales associate was trying to sell me everything, and I was like, girl, I am not that rich. Uh, calm down. Um. Anyways, I had a I had a package that failed delivery, so I have to go pick it up at. The little um, UPS thing. I think it's from Source Unknown, which is really fun and gorgeous. And I'm excited. So let's go pick that shit up. Okay. Bro, that this is so fucking weird. The package secured. Okay, here's the package. I actually love Source Unknown. They kind of remind me of like the Frankie shop, which I fucking love I love a place that sells like really high quality elevated basics that's like my that's my shit I got a blazer from them I'm pretty sure oh how beautiful is that wait you can't even like see how it's like structured so beautifully let me just let me just fucking try it on. My cat is actually fucking wild and like will not stop sprinting around. I don't know if that's just like an orange cat thing or if I can like fix it. Um, please tell me how to discipline cats. Leave disciplinatory cat tips below. Hold up. You can obviously like wear it with pants and shit or you can wear it as a dress. Which is probably what I'll do. Like how? I'd probably do it with a boat. Oh, it's so fucking cunty. No, like actually level 1000 on the cunto meter. I just love the structure. And honestly, I don't even think I could get it taken in because it's so, like, the structure is so insane. Like it must've been so difficult to make this fucking pattern. I'm just like, I'm such a slut for adult clothes, like, I love this fucking shit. I'm like a fucking idiot and I don't even know why I keep going in and out of the house, but I forgot that I literally have no weed. I've had no weed left for like a week and I've been like smoking on the like, <laughs> this is so desperate. I've been smoking on the like the little um, baby joints that are left and like just like barely getting anywhere with it. But I guess it like gave me a baby tea break, but I'm going to pick up at Ma's, so. Maybe we can have a little smoke sesh later. What do you think? Worst vlogger of all time alert. I'm going to my van. I'm wearing this tank top that yep. I paid $1,000 for and she gave me the wrong one. Uh. Um, I got, guys, right? Cause you watched the last vlog where I was shopping for this shirt. It didn't look like this. It was way less V-neck. Anyways, pants, these boots. You know, got the boots, got the cat. Got the jacket, got the bag. I lost my lip liner. I literally lose every lip liner that I ever fucking move, buy, or own. So. Buy or own. Okay. Is that in my nose balls? <laughs> nose balls. Nose balls. We're done. Cut. Cut the check. She said cut buying cut and shit. Also, we got an Uber to go literally the street right in back of me. And Colin's the one who convinced me, so you're the one responsible for those cars. Yeah, but I'm the one with the I'm hosting a party. Where? What kind of accent? I'm not yeah. Colin's got the worst British accent I've ever heard. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm from Scotland. Scotland by Talking about. I take off my bat mask. Oh my god, Colin, you're like Cinderella. I'm gonna put you on somebody's random cup. Actually, he's allergic to peanuts and he just had a cookie that was right next to the nut one. Oh, there you go, in between my legs. Oh, 
Oh, it's done okay. great. Um, so you can't see anything probably, but look at this. Yeah, you can't see well, shit. You can probably see it in here. Hey! Hey! People, they were like, take the flower arrangements. We paid $70 million for them. Oh, yeah, we should probably. Oh, my head or no? What was that? Oh, the pomegranate. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, we're about to pass this door guy that I fucking hate and now I'm gonna tell you guys all the door guy that I fucking hate and you're gonna see him make the lens stupid. What? Oh. He's gonna be like, where the fuck are you going, stupid bit? No, he's not. Ooh, but, easy, guys, easy, easy. He literally looks like a Vinny Hawker if he was stick a We ain't even in here, bro. Beautiful. We're in that. What you know about that fit, bro? No, like, what you know? Whoa. Oh my goodness, see guys, this is what happens with the wind in my bangs. It's like a... Bang lift. A bang lift? A bang lift? Colin, it's dripping all over me. <laughs> Yo, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. Oh, yeah, this place is called Silver Lounge. It's really good, by the way. This is my New York City recommendation. It's like a little. Holy shit. Oh my god, my hands are freezing. Got it. Love ya. Over and out, chickens. Okay, I'm filming my phone now because obviously my camera died. <laughs> Guys, the fucking battery life on this bitch is so shit. Maybe I need to buy like a better battery. I don't know. Can I do that? Can I buy like a more long lasting battery or is that? I don't even know. That's a thing. Wanted to unbox this little bud with you. These are the little jars they come in. They're fucking like black gloss. Like I don't even know. Okay. Ah! Oh my god, it feels so good to have these back guys. I've literally been like fiending off of like these. That are. So here we have panda milk, which is a hybrid, I'm pretty sure. We have Chem Dog. I got two hybrids and two sativas. This is Obama Runs, and this is Sour Diesel. I'm so excited. They all smell so good. So here are my like current life dilemmas. Dilemma number one is that I really, really, really wanted to quit school and I actually talked to my mom about it. And so I call her and she's like, what's this thing you're talking about with school? Like I woke up, like it was like 9 a.m. I just woke up, like I'm in bed. And she's like, I hope you don't want to quit school. And I'm like, well, she's like, no, you're not quitting school. Da -da -da, you need a degree. like yelling at me at 9 a.m. It was so fun. And like, I understand like that generation thinks that you need a degree. And a lot of people now still think you need a degree. Personally, I think that what's more important than a degree when you're doing a field like fashion and social media is your connections. And people will say that to me as well. Like half people will be like, you don't need a degree at all. And half people will be like, you need a full degree. Like you need a fucking bachelor's or you will fail. I don't think I will ever fail. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's my delusion like i just don't think that i will like i'm just not i'm just not with it like i'm not gonna fail in life that's just not how it's gonna go and i don't think that that depends on having a bachelor's degree anyways and i'm like okay like can i at least take a break and she's like yeah fine you can take one or two semesters off maybe that's what you need and then you can like get back into it so i'm like thinking okay maybe i'll just like take a semester off to this point actually what i told her is that I have really great opportunities in my career right now in social media and I want to take advantage of it and I want to see how far I can take it if I'm not preoccupied with school because it's taking up most of my time. And she's like, that's understandable. But then I went to my school and I talked to an advisor about getting an associate's degree. I don't know why I'm telling you this, like you probably don't care. Like, and I was like, how many classes do what I have left to just get an associate's degree? What does it give me? What is it giving? Like, what do you think? And he's like, well, actually, you only have four classes left to take if you want an associate's degree. So I would just need one more semester. I would take four classes, which is like nothing. And I would have an associate's degree. That's a fucking compromise if I've ever heard of one. Once I stop school, like, I'm gonna, you know, get pump out youtube videos like they're fucking babies i swear to myself that i will grind like no other if i am not in school 
Also, like, do you love these sunglasses? I fucking love them. And my sister. My big sister told me she liked them. And, like, whenever my big sister, like, compliments me on something, I'm literally like, okay. Like, she's the only person I need approval from. My cool older sister. I fucking love her. She's the best. Maybe I'll just, like, tell you guys facts about myself since I'm already, like, telling you my whole life story. Let me tell you my family dynamic. I have two older sisters. One is turning 28, like, this month. And one is 29. So they're fucking way older. Clearly, I was a fucking accident. I'm, like, pretty close with the one who's about to turn 28. Because we're, like, quite similar in a lot of ways. She's an artiste. She does furniture design and like sculptures and paintings like she's fucking cool my other sister is fucking cool too she's just a boss bitch she's a business baddie she bought my dad's company my dad passed away um and he was uh an ear doctor and sold hearing aids and he had a company called Les Saint Bastia she's fucking working it like I love that for her and wait that's not even the fucking craziest part the craziest part is that she has two kids and she's 29 like is that like the most perfect like life path like that's like the ideal woman's life path like in society you know marry a guy mid-20s great husband by the way just prime prime husband good guy so nice whatever love him um and then buy a fucking company like own your own company and then have two kids by 20 by like before 30 like that is that's literally what society wants out of women that's not me maybe i will bust out two babies by 29 but i really highly doubt it actually no i won't let's fucking admit it to ourselves i have no dating life guys i know i'm a baby but i just i don't date like i can't date i literally cancel my dates every time i like <coughs> every time i like agree to go on a date with a guy i cancel like the day before i'm like sorry i actually i can't i have um i got called into work can't sorry but i am going on a date this saturday i haven't canceled yet so the thing is that he's a short king but he's like cute like he's cute he looks like educated there's another man who is actually my cutie like he's just my little munchkin and like he's just the best we hang out but he never takes me on dates like we just like hang out but like obviously it's not like friend vibes it's like just not but i'm like you're not taking me out on dates so you're not really in the picture are you um but I do like hanging out with him. He's cute. He's actually... Guys, when I tell you this guy's the most beautiful man I've ever seen. Like, every time I see his face, I'm like... Like, wh how are you so pretty and fucking perfect? It's like, no freckles. Like, oh my god, you're so cute. But like, <sighs> you know, we need a little bit more than that. Anyways, I was telling you about my family dynamic. My mom is a just dad dad so not much to talk about anyways i want you guys to tell me if i made clothes or if i made jewelry if you would buy it and be honest and it will be a little bit expensive because in this economy it needs to be or i will not make any money guys i'm serious if i make clothes i'm gonna have to spend like at least twenty thousand dollars on making this shit so it's gonna be a bit of an investment um oh and also tell me if you'd rather me make clothes or jewelry let me like put in some, okay actually let me put in some info of what i want to do here are some ideas of like clothes vibes that i want to make pause if you need and here's some ideas of cool jewelry that i want to make there's honestly i'm more inspired by the jewelry because I'm just such a jewelry addict and like I feel like I'm kind of like known a little bit for my jewelry as well. I should talk <coughs> I should stop talking now. Video's gonna get a little long. 
hope you enjoyed today's video i love you so much and please subscribe guys i never say this but like subscribe like comment share like please i need it i, I need to make it guys we need to be on this youtube grind and like you you need to send help in my way okay let's all make a collective prayer <laughs>